Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Car Discuity. Welcome back to the channel. We are here again with our Golf Mark 7.5 GTI base build. Now, in the previous episodes, you would have seen the airlift installation, the new exhaust, and the air intake. The car has now been handed over to me because we are now going to show you the base build. This is probably going to be one of two episodes because it is a mammoth job. There's quite a lot of equipment going into this Golf. The guys have already started with the skins sand deadening because the interior is already stripped for the air installation. We thought, you know what, it's perfect timing to install the sand deadening as well. So you can see here, we've already done the whole of the boot. Just on the right hand side, you can see the airlift management and the compressor and that has sand deadening behind that as well. Over my left shoulder, you can see the rear passenger quarter. That's already been stripped out and there's a load of skin sand deadening being installed in there. The roof lining's actually been reinstalled. It was removed last week and we've added loads of skin sand deadening across the whole of the roof and added some Phonocar foam as well. So that should stop any of that vibration inside the car because the amount of equipment and the two 15 inch subwoofers that we are going to install is going to really shake this car. The plan is to have four six and a half inch mid ranges in each door, so passenger side door and driver side door, and four tweeters. Now, the tweeters may go in the A pillar or they may go in the door. I'll leave that to the engineers, as you can see here. Lovely six and a half inch mid-range chunky magnet. These are compression horn tweeters. So we will have eight of these in total, four on either side. There's a fair amount of work that needs to be done to install these component kits in the front door. So it's gonna mean chopping up the door cards. What we've done is we've purchased some separate door cards. In fact, I think we've purchased front door cards and rear passenger cards as well. So we'll chop those up to get these in there and leave the original door cards uh, in the warehouse so if we ever come to sell the car we've got the original door cards still with the car. on the guys have been busy but I know there's one thing that you guys are waiting on and that's the base you can't have a base car without subwoofers here we have one of the subwoofers that we will be using the subs are identical so it'll be two of these subwoofers it's a power base 3xl 15 inch subwoofer each subwoofer is good for 1500 watts RMS 3000 watts peak and as you can see they are chunky beasts. It's chunky. In fact, I've got a very colorful weighing scale here. Let's just uh, weigh the sub. So each sub weighs 29 kilograms. It's nearly 60 kilograms of subwoofer weight.
have a box. We haven't got a lot of space to play with. The Golf GTI boot isn't massive and we're trying to squeeze in two 15 inch subwoofers into it, plus potentially a couple of amps as well. This box has taken some serious time to make. As you can see, it's not a straightforward wedge shaped box. Now this box has to be solid because the last thing we want is a box that flexes, which will have an impact on the quality of the base. I think the next stage here is the top is going to be sanded back to make sure it's nice and flat. And I believe the top section is going to be painted because the box will be visible. I'm back guys and I'm going to give you an update. A lot has happened. Check out the doors. Don't they look amazing? I would say, speaking to the engineers, to do both door cards has taken the best part of a week. You're probably wondering why does it take so long? Think of it this way. You've got a standard door card, which, here you go. This is the standard door card. And if you look at the comparison, you've got location for one speaker there. Now, the engineers have had to fabricate the new pods to house four Powerbase 4XL midwoofers. And those pods have been manufactured out of fiberglass resin, fiberglass matting, and MDF. And it's a constant going backwards and forwards between the woodwork room and the car because you need to ensure that they fit correctly they fit on the door card and also when you close the door that they don't touch the seat and the last thing you want is a door pod which just hangs into the sort of cabin area and when you're sitting in the car it's rubbing against your knee on the lower section of the door card we've covered it in vinyl to match the original finish and here where you've got the three horn tweeters we've put some alcantara we've had to raise the section here just to give it a bit more strength and one thing we had to also do as well is move the switch as you can see on the passenger door card the switch sits just behind the door handle now if we'd kept the switch in the same place you wouldn't be able to get to it because of the horn tweeter we relocated the switch and we've done that on the driver side where you've got two window switches one for the driver side one for the passenger side yes we've still got to put the trim back on the handle but that is more or less finished now, let me show you the lighting. So you might have just seen the lighting come on as I open the door. Um, but once you turn the stereo on, the lighting does come on. So let me just show you that. So there you go. The lighting matches the color of the car. That's why we've gone with red. Whilst I'm in the cabin, let me show you the horn tweeters on the A pillars. So this is a complete new panel. Again, fiberglass resin, uh, fiberglass matting and MDF. And we've got one horn tweeter on either side. So we've got four horn tweeters in the front and we've got four six and a half inch power base, four XL mid range speakers or mid bass speakers in each door card. That's a lot of mid range and top end in the front of the cabin. Let me now show you the boot. You're probably thinking, not much difference from last time. Well, there is a, a subtle difference inside the uh, boot area. First and foremost, we've made a panel to cover the airlift manifold and also the compressor. On the left-hand side of the car, we'll be fitting a battery which will power the additional amplifiers. Previously, as I mentioned, the sand deadening covers the entire section of the car. So the boot underneath the seat, the side panels and obviously the roof area has also been done. 
Here you've got loads of cabling. Now this cabling here, that's gonna go into a distribution block from the spare battery. That block will then feed each amplifier. There's four amplifiers in total. Then we've got subwoofer cable and so on and so on. Now, the box. If you recall, earlier on I showed you the box and it was in our paint room. It was covered in primer. It was drying out, but since then a lot has happened. Come this way. The top section of the box has now been painted in red, but now at least you can see the box in its full glory. It is a size of a box. And if you look inside the box, you can see the bottom section is all made out of fiberglass resin and fiberglass matting. The reason why the bottom section of the box is like that is to ensure that we maximize the space that's available for this box, just to give us probably another half uh, cubic foot of space. So this box is going to go in the back of the Golf. The subs are here as well. So in this episode, we've started the audio build. The front door cards are more or less finished. The A pillars are finished. The sand deadening has been completed. The wiring is run. The box is now completed. So in the next episode, everything from the audio side will be complete. I'll fire the car up for the first time and both you and myself can have a listen. So guys, you know what you need to do now. You need to smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, we're nearly there, guys. We are nearly there. Uh, so stay with us. The next episode should drop in a few days. And then after the audio episode, there will be one final episode where I hand the car over to Palm. Palm will change the wheels out. Uh, the car will be detailed and it's ready to go over to Ultimate Dubs, the first show of 2024. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think so far of our base car. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on another episode on Cast TV.